take you guys out here. And plant some beans before it gets too dark. And I think I'll just put this up just as a quick video with me doing a little bit that I did out here. Appreciate you guys watching. But I'm new to the whole GoPro thing, so we'll see what happens. <coughs> I gotta figure out the angles of shots. I'm still gonna record with my phone, only because I, I don't know. I like to be able to see the video and this I gotta download. I don't know, I gotta get used to it. So let me put this on here. Okay, so these here are garden blend green beans. They're like a bush variety. And as you can see, I weeded all this out today. So all I'm gonna do here So hopefully you can see, I gotta get used to this thing around my neck. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here is throw a couple of these beans like I did the other one. I'm just sticking them right there, covering it up. Some of these weeds out. I'm gonna see how this does in the dark because I do like to come out in the garden when it's dark out and do this stuff. So let me know, you guys like this point of view gardening? I'll put more stuff up on the channel like that once I get used to this. And right here, I'm just going to <clears throat> level all this out here. No rhyme or reason. Well, I mean, I try to do a pattern. <clears throat> then I'm gonna go right across here with a line. And you know what? We're just gonna sprinkle green beans. We will worry about thinning out later. Just in case some don't come up, we'll cover them back up. And eventually I'm gonna get to putting grass clippings. It's a little too late out here to, to mow. Although I might, although I might go ahead and bring that over there before we get all this rain because I don't want to get any blight on my tomatoes. Okay, so I got all them green beans planted. Now we're gonna come over here to this side and right in front of all these tomatoes. And that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna start the mower up and come down here. I'm gonna try to get all this stuff out of here. The only thing about carrots are, <clears throat> A lot of these weeds are probably gonna grow up before the carrots. So if this dies, guys, because I only have I don't know how long the battery lasts, I really do appreciate you watching. Let me know how it turned out with the GoPro. I mean I'll be able to see it with the video once I start editing it. Let's get this big one out of here. Okay, those are peppers. So you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna take these carrot seeds and all we're gonna do is sprinkle them all in here. And then you know what I'm gonna do? There's no rhyme or reason to the row. We're just sprinkling carrots everywhere. And we're gonna hope for the best, right? Then I'll show you what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is uh, we don't 
gonna get rocked. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Let's carry this back down. I think I'm gonna be done soon. Been out all day. So what I'm gonna do is some carrot seeds. I'm just gonna do this to rake them in. And I know what carrots look like, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now they're mixed into the dirt. And then I'm gonna take this. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna do this so I know something was planted there. The seeds up a little more. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is go get grass for this and we'll come out and work in the rain tomorrow. We'll see how this thing records in the rain. So much to do before we go. Oh, this is going to be heavy. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys like point of view gardening. <laughs> I'll put more of it up. You guys see the before of this. Let's see what it looks like after we get back. Okay, so what I've been doing, and it looks good on all the other stuff, is I wanna put this around these. If you guys don't know, tomatoes can get blight easy from soil splashing up on the leaves. I know they don't look too good, the tomatoes, but hopefully they bounce back. And all my aisles now this year, I'm covering with grass. Anytime something pops up, it's getting covered with grass. Yeah, look, I have enough to do some of the peppers. This helps keep the moisture in. Okay, I don't know if this is still recording, but we're just gonna pop a sunflower in the ground. I don't want it to go bad. And there's only tomatoes, or peppers over here anyway. And I might put some cucumbers here tomorrow too to run under the peppers. Okay, so we didn't sell this one. So I'm gonna put it right here and give it a better home, right? Okay and you'll do much better there. Whew.
So I got all that done. I planted my beans there. We are not going to put any grass on this until I see the beans. Actually, I might do that tomorrow, but it's going to rain, so it's no point. Because my tomatoes are covered. Look at how all the cabbages are doing. And look at these, these beans, man. This is crazy. I should wash it, but... And all this stuff will start doing better when we get all that rain. Let's see. I plant these peppers and I didn't even water them. So they don't look too good. There's beans back there too. They're pole beans. This will pop back. But look, tomatoes are looking better already. All these are going to spread in here. So we'll see what the rain does, guys. So have a good night. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we only sold $30 in stuff today. It was our first uh, market, but it is what it is. I'm not even going to bother bringing any of it, and I'll get the candles. That's about it.